Man, oh man. Oh man, oh man. Man, oh man. Wow. This, this shit right here, this may be second to last Naruto review you'll ever hear from Mazaku. Bars! Ooh! By the way, that mixtape. Yeah, y'all mean download that shit. But also, before you know, if you haven't seen the movie, in the link description below, it is uh, a link to my Facebook uh, group. Make sure you guys like that, because I actually post a link in my Facebook group, Team Mazaku Facebook group. So make sure you guys you know you want to see it. See it now. The quality isn't all that good, and it's like a bootleg version, but when I say, like, I'm the only thing I'm even going to make, like, any, like, dick jokes, because this shit was... I, uh, this with all these Naruto fillers, I I needed th this was freaking amazing, people. This is by far the best Naruto movie I've seen. The Lost, uh, I think it's The Lost Tower. Is gonna have to take a number two to this. This, it, uh, this. Oh, man. Let me let me collect myself, dog. Put, uh, I'm gonna be. Oh shit. The greatness I just witnessed with my own two eyes. It. Damn. Talk, I'm about to. This, this shit made me want to watch original Naruto. Like, when he was a. Oh, shit. Dude, this shit fucking. Dog, those. Let's see, view this shit, dog. Don't get emotional. But, um. This movie starts off. And I'm not going to go over every step, just every important step. But the movie. <clears throat> Fuck. The movie opens up with uh, Guruto, Sawara, and Miski trying to capture like a panda bear or a bear. And it's like a mixture of both, basically. And Boruto completely solos the motherfucker and he doesn't care about teamwork at all. Basically that. And when they go to the Hokage's office, Naruto, like he's bragging to his dad like, yo, I just easily fuck this shit up. I easily pass this mission. Let me do some real shit, and this is when one of the main plots of the movie is introduced, where Konohamaru brings up the up-and-coming tuning exams. Boy, oh boy, man, telling even even Konohamaru was badass in this movie. And this role wasn't well; he had sort of a big role, but the role really wasn't like that big in the actual movie. But I, I, I loved every part of it. I didn't get not one annoying part of the movie. I like actually. Hold the fuck on. Okay. So in the middle of talking to fucking Naruto, this fuck boy ass science. I'm not gonna say his fucking name, Kasuski, some shit like that, Kasuski. This nigga, like, he's a mick dickhead. Y'all don't like this motherfucker, yo. So he comes in, not only interrupting the Okage and his son's conversation, he's talking about this new generation shit, um, it's like a fucking mini scroll ninjas use to seal their jutsu in. That way, regular people can fucking use them without having the use of training or, or anything. Like, you could put a fucking thing on in it and then just pull the shot. Hey, look, I got a fucking right. No. 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 Disapproved by fucking uh, Hokage Naruto. Of course, Boruto fucking found it intriguing, but the, I don't fucking like the dude. Because after the Hokage, the fucking leader, Told your bitch hands no. You said, okay, fine. Get that stupid ass sinister smile that right before you leave the door. And then you selling this, this shit to his son. What the, yo? What the fuck is wrong with you? This nigga no, this nigga should have been imprisoned. I don't give a fuck. He should have been in prison. He should have been in prison. That doing some shit like that, completely unacceptable. I don't approve of it. Bullshit. Now I I, I don't know how to fuck fuck him. But he basically sells the perps to Boruto after Naruto said no, those are prohibited, Ronis will use those, and we cannot allow this shit in the tuning exams. I don't give a fuck of how, about how new generation you think this shit is. It's not the way of ninja. It's not how we roll. It's not. And he's right. It's not. But he goes behind the Hokage's back and then searches to his fucking son. That right there, imprisonment. I don't care. But basically, right after that, Boruto, he, I believe, um, in that same conversation, he he tells uh, Naruto, 
don't forget my sister's birthday. Now, I got the wrong impression before I seen this movie. I was assuming that Berto didn't even freaking like Himamori. No. That's like Himamori, his little sister, it's like the only time he smiles, apparently, according to Berto. I was like, so Sabara and Miski. So, that is like the light of his day. That's his little sunshine. That's his little fucking sister. And I respect that about Berto. And I respect that he was strict with Naruto about that. Dude, you fuck up everything. Don't even, like, Think about forgetting your daughter's birthday. He knew say your daughter said my little sisters. So that's it kind of shows like the distance between these two. They don't really talk a lot, period. So on Himawari's birthday, this shit made me a little piss off at Naruto. So Boruto and, and uh, his mom, you know, Hinata, are saying happy birthday to Himawari, and Naruto walks in with the cake, and right before he's able to set it down, boom! It's a shadow clone. Once I seen that, I'm like, you a bitch, Naruto. You a bitch. Shit pissed, that shit pissed me off. That shit really pissed me off. Could I don't know, probably because it reminded me of times shit. It was my birthday. My dad didn't even fucking remember. That shit this. So it's kind of like a person. That shit pissed me the fuck off. I fucking hated Naruto during that scene. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. And then you show the next scene, Naruto is off asleep. Bitch, what the fuck are you doing? It's fucking dog, but that shit pissed me off. But we get on to the tuning exams. Let's go ahead and wrap this shit up. Get on to the tuning exams. My camera's already fucking dying. Most likely I'm having to make a, a take two of this shit. But on to the tuning exams. There, there are three tests. Three tests. Now the first test. But by the way, the movie just started off with now no, 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 with Sasuke fighting Kinshiki and. He's kind of having a rough time, but he just make it through, and he escapes with their scroll, and he just shows the Naruto, which is kind of like foreshadowing to the main plot and the main fight of this uh, actual movie. But moving on to the tuning exams, I really want to focus on Birdie throughout the whole movie, because it's kind of it's about him, but then it's about Naruto, and it's about Sasuke, but it's all about the new generation of ninja, how it should be, and how they need to form back to the old ways, you know, to original raid training, other than fucking devices. But there are three parts to the tuning exam, three tests. The first test is, I believe, called the Black Test, or some shit like that. Nah, I'm not. I probably got that shit wrong, but it's like a question about like an ancient ninja uh, novel. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's that ancient, but there are two sides, like X and O, and all the uh, little getting are in front of it. And the question is X, and they gotta choose which one's right, X right or the circle wrong, I believe. Or your circle was right, X was wrong. Makes sense. So they all go onto these like you know little things of what they think is right or wrong, and then the whole thing collapse. Then you realize why it's called like the black test or some shit like that. Because at the bottom of the pit, it is ink. You have to learn how to react fast as shit and not fall into that ink. If you even want to think about being a tuning, and Boruto and Sabara were saved by Miski. So without him, those two would have been nope, nigga, getting and that the whole journey would have ended. Right then and there. Something crazy, right? And we have the second part of the test, which is like based on flags, like you have to get like a red flag and a white flag, something like the Earth and Heaven Scrolls. Now, this is where Birdie Toe wanted to choose to be a fuckboy. Because he, you know, with the drugs he got from Kasuski, whatever the fuck his bitch ass name is, who fucking went against Lord Naruto's rules. He was getting, Boruto was getting his ass whooped, but well, not his ass whooped, but he's getting embarrassed basically by bragging how he can only make, you know, but well, bragging how he can make like what, four Shadow Clones and gets uh, like three people. And they just said, fuck it, and made a shit ton of them. Boruto then used the little Ninja Coast to create like a big tidal wave of water and then lightning in the water and completely fucked the dude up. Got the flags, Savada, <clears throat> showering gun, nigga. Because it was Genjutsu, run all the flags, see from the right one. I like that scene, and you know, basically they are able to move on to part three. <sighs> so, Boruto then goes home. He goes in his room. He gets an email from Naruto. Not a personal visit, not even a Shadow Clone visit, but an email. And that just pisses him off. It pisses him off. <laughs> it should piss this man the fuck off. Like, seriously. So... He, he's angry, obviously, but then we get another scene, actually, in this movie, where, um, I believe, hmm. no, no, I believe the first, uh, 
test that he passed. He got the email. Then the second test, Naruto came to him personally because Shikamaru said, yo, just give your fucking son a lecture or something. But Naruto still kind of failed to do that. He kind of went in there and said hi and bye. Tried to give him a little fist bump, but Berto had the shit up his sleeve, the drugs, the... <clears throat> up his sleeve, so he just, you know, didn't do nothing. Naruto as much as says, like, no, I'm proud of you, some shit like that. I'll be watching you during the third party of these exams. The third party of these exams are the fights. The fights, man. The individuals. Nigga. You know that, that Garland Rock Lee feeling? We, that's, that's what this is. Berto's first match is against a Cloud Ninja. Who kind of reminded me of a white Killer B. By the way, <laughs> speaking of Killer B, he dies. He dies. In this movie. Gets one shot in this movie. No one acknowledges this shit. He's gone. The, the fuck, dude. Done this kill Killer B. Deceased. He's done. He is done. One shot at Momoshiki killed his dumb ass. This nigga, oh, I, that shit pissed me. This shit making me mad. I mean, it wasn't a bad, I mean, it wasn't bad because, hey, I, I like Killer B. It was like, damn. Fuck you gotta kill off the nigga for? Damn. We, we can't, we, this is why we can't live, nigga. Even in cartoon fucking Japanese movies, we can survive. Fuck. Fuck it, but Killer B, he gets earthed in this movie. He's gone. He's he's dead, actually. But, uh, the guy that who resembled me, Killer B, you know, the little kid in the tuning exams fighting Buruto in the first match, his jutsu was like he blows like bubble gums and they like explode. And Buruto uses another strip scroll and one shots him with a freaking kunai, a green kunai. And it's like, come on, like, like it's sad because, like, nigga, you got Hugo fighting stuff and all this shit, nigga. Stop being lazy. I'm the same when they press your dad, but dude, you, you, you're pretty good for your fucking age. I mean, you, you fucking, they massive, but you learned it. Miniature work, no. He learned it especially Rasengan. I'm, I'm going to call it the vanishing Rasengan. Because he throws it, it disappears. And then it, it reappears and just fuck shit up. I don't, I don't know. Call it the flying thunder guy Rasengan, but you know he doesn't know the fucking jutsu. But I don't know, we don't know his freaking jutsu shit. I mean, I think it was hinted that he had water and lightning even before he used the tool, so... I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure Boruto's true potential, but it's obviously more than what they showed us in the movie. But Boruto has a unique Rasengan, and that's really cool. If he just used that and gets a bubble dude, he would have threw it, it would have disappeared, and fucked his face up. Like, you could have did that. You don't have to use, to use cheating methods. But the next match is <laughs> Shikadai versus Boruto. Sekai catches Boruto in the Shadow Clone Jutsu. I said that Shadow Clone, Shadow Possessing Jutsu. Boruto uses the shits, and it's so obvious that even Naruto, the idiot Naruto, fucking noticed, and he fucking disqualified him. And he tried to be like, I'm so disappointed in you. Then kind of got put in his place, and Boruto said, Well, nigga, you would have really fucking let you me? This shit wouldn't happen. I wouldn't feel the need to do this shit for you. And that kind of like put Naruto in his fucking place. And then we have this fucking cock. Gobbler, Kasuski coming again to steal publicity to show people, oh look, new generation shit, you use scrolls. I'm like, dude, Hercule, get the fuck out of here. And right, th thankfully, uh, thankfully, thankfully, before he even gets to finish his speech, here comes motherfucking Kenshiki, or no, Kinski, or Kenshiki, whatever the fuck his name, and Momoshiki out the motherfucking blue, Asuski, to fuck shit up, but. The way they came, this nigga kicked the sh shit out of Naruto. Like, he fucking WWE fucking Andre the Giant big booted the fuck out this man. And this nigga was sent fucking flying, and they, no, I believe, um, was it Kenshiki? Kenshiki, I believe he punched the uh, ground, or was it Momoshiki? And, and the entire tuning exam stadium, a well built one at that. Completely collapsed and all of you know the top class you know with Naruto No, no, Naruto. He got kicked in the fucking face. Sasuke, Sakura, and you know, Kage and shit. They're helping everybody, you know, Rock Lee. They, they, they are helping everybody and all that. All that good shit. 
And why this is happening, everybody, you know, thankfully evacuates very safely. We have Boruto, Sawada, Naruto, Sasuke, and Hinata. She's still like up there on the uh, apron and whatever. Not apron, but you know, she, she's there. She's there. She's she's in sight. Naruto gets his ass kicked, and then he is forced to uh, bring out the Naruto's cloak, which apparently now Boruto didn't know about. Like Naruto, what the fuck, dude? You, you ain't tell him this shit? Cause he's like, what the fuck, pop? When, like, since when could you do this? I'm like, dude, Naruto, don't tell me you went 13 years not telling this man shit. And then you wanna preach about, oh, back in the old and they, no, nigga. It's, no, come on, nigga, come on. That, come on, Naruto, you can't be doing that. But Sasuke, you know, awakens the head part of Susano in order to help protect Naruto because the cloak wasn't doing enough compared to the damage that Momoshiki, which is Byakugan activated, was doing. He was just destroying shit. He was fucking shit up. And this man sends Naruto to Kaguya's dimension. And then Boruto, like, the, the shockwave even still was so powerful it knocked everybody out. And Boruto wakes up in the hospital. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay, so what? What the fuck? Am about to sneak up on me? <laughs> The Sasuke about to do some switch roof shit, so I fuck me up. It's cool, bro. but basically it knocks everybody out. And I'm not sure if it's a day or two later or 12 hours later, but it's kind of daylight outside. And in Berto's mind, his fucking father just died saving him. This man is fucking crying. This man is crying. Like even before him, he like threw his jacket out the freaking window. No, it's not like that no more. This man went in his office. He just imagined his dad in there like working and shit. He like damn. Like it said, like that, some shit like that. That shit, that shit kind of like touched me, even though I'm not, not, not you know, related, related to that. But like having your father, you know, y'all never really been close, and right at the time we wouldn't impress him the most, he dies. Could really fuck somebody up mentally, man. And he picks Naruto's jacket up, and then Sasuke comes in like a badass. Just let me, let me demonstrate. Come on, man. Come on, these fucking bugs, nigga, move, nigga. Fuck, I'm trying to make Sasuke real quick, come on. My bad, my bad, my bad. Alright, let's see what's like. Beruto, I can't, that's probably the only thing I can say here. Yeah, everything else is Japanese. But it was on the subtitle, but he basically says, Now you know how your father felt because he was going by the village for cheating in the exams. Now he truly felt how Naruto felt as a child. I'm like, fucking genius writing. Mm. I'm like, dude, like that's what all that shit was supposed to be. He could feel how his father felt. Like you talking about all you like you had didn't have your father, so you know like he said you didn't have a father, so you don't know the good part of having you no know, a father in your life. Because technically Naruto would have been through the same shit. Not only because he's you no know, incarnation of Fisura and he got to experience you no know, all this hardship. But I mean, that's how it would have been just as busy. And times were even harder back then. There wasn't even peace. He would have been way too busy. He couldn't even probably even see his son, barely. But Naruto would have been in that same position had, you know, me and been alive. So it still would have been the same outcome, just as my opinion. But Sasuke, because remember, Naruto, I said Naruto, when Boruto was caught cheating in the exams, he was stripped of being a fucking ninja. Not only, like, from being from the shooting exams, but stripped from being a ninja. Freaking horrible. And now he's at his lowest point, and this teacher Sasuke is here to pick him up. And what Sasuke's speech had to offer was so fucking phenomenal. This motherfucking theme song went off. <laughs> At this point, I'm like, get him, nigga. Fuck they, fuck they wives, nigga. Fuck they wives, nigga. Long dick stop. Fuck they wives. I'm, I'm fucking hyped. I ain't fucking hyped when that fuck. Oh, dog. Whoever fucking constructed that shit. Dog. I was fucking livid. I was. Mm. Yeah, 
have you got? I said it did a lot of fucking reaction. Cause I jumped out my literally jumped out my motherfucking chair. I'm like, they ready to fuck shit up. You got the fuck cocky like, yeah, nigga, we ready to fuck. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. The fucking hype factor is real. It is real, my nigga. It is real. Whew. Boy. This is Excuse me, but I'm sorry if I scared you people or I forced you to turn your volume down, but this movie was fucking godly. And you know what? We actually get to see Sasuke and how he fuck he goes into the dimension, which is Renegon. He creates like this big black orb and you just go into the orb and hey, can I give you that mention? And is that easy? It's like, yeah. Pretty cool. Fuck it. And they drop in. Oh, Momo Shiki and Kenshiki. First off, they these niggas, these niggas extracting shit from Naruto, and they like, yo, this this kind of taking too long. It is gonna fucking take long. A fucking trick. Well, wait, if that took too long, why the fuck Killer B got on that fucking? He's black. That's why he freaking died. But anyway, as Momo Shiki's trying to take the the four nine times on Naruto, he like, yo, like this shit. It's taking too fucking long. So he stops briefly. And now Naruto quickly gets up. Well, he doesn't get up, but, you know, he's fucked up. He like, I'm a fucking shinobi, bitch. You think that shit was going to be easy? <laughs> and right at that moment, Sasuke, Tojuro, I think it's his name. Derry, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, The fucking Tsushi Kage, her name is very difficult to pronounce, so I don't give a fuck about it. And Gara and Buruto. And I believe... The uh Kasuski guy, the one who fires the shit, the um the uh fucking chocolate bullshit. I think I think he came too, cause he came later. They all come swooping down. And when they swooping down, shit goes down. So immediately they look, the Kage's they already at Kinshiki's ass. By the way, I love the Kage's and I love the their characters, but these niggas was no match for Kinshiki. Like, he fucking let him do shit to him. They easily broke up, but, you know, beforehand, we have Naruto and Sasuke basically going up against uh, Momoshiki. Momoshiki, he's obviously overwhelmed, and he's obviously fucking surrounded. He cannot escape these two gods that he's about to face. Now, he feels like he fucked up. When you're jumping one of them, okay, then that's better. But now they're jumping your dumb ass. You know what the fuck to do. So this nigga's basically, he's kind of folding a little bit. Kenshiki sees his folder, so he said, All right, sorry, Kage's. Um, my nigga over there, he about to get annually raped. So, therefore, I gotta. It's morphin' time, nigga. Fucking morphin' time. This nigga breaks the fuck out the fucking submit shit. That fucking. God, the damn name. Tsushiki Kage put him in. He goes to Kenshiki. He said, You know what? It's time, nigga. Momo Shiki's like, yeah, nigga, come on. Like, <laughs> no compassion. Like, yo, yeah, this is why you was created. Come here. Zoom. Create some fucking fruit. <laughs> Super Momo Shiki. Turns red with fucking the horns. And the, the design is kind of weird. I kind of wish she didn't look like a Naruto movie character. But hey. But hey. And by the way, this whole fight, he kind of seemed to be more concerned about his garment. I mean, they are probably rare, kind of Asuski garments. I mean, probably don't come around, don't have a real tailor to remake them shit. So he kind of probably wore his clothes his entire life. But who knows? But once that happens, Naruto goes to use Ninja to Sasuke like, no, nope. no, nope. no, nope. no, nope. no. Nope. This motherfucker will absorb our Ninja to and use it against us like he did against Killer B. I, I'm just thinking, he fucking owned Killer B. Why? It wasn't even a fucking... He didn't even have to be Yaku gotten activated. He's fucking killed this nigga. Like, don't forget Killer B. Don't let him become another, um... Yamato people. Rest in peace, Killer B, dog. Rest in peace, my nigga, Killer B. They killed my nigga, dog. Damn, fuck. Why the, Why? Why y'all kill him? Why did... Well, come on. At least kill Tintin. Uh, come on, I've been okay with that. But... They killed my nigga Killer B, but let's move on. 
So with this newfound knowledge that Momoshiki can take Ninja to, Naruto and Sasuke completely decimate this fucker. They, oh, I know even before the movie came out or like the whole full movie, the fight was still on YouTube to watch. The way they did this man dirty was atrocious. It was fucking legendary. They whooped this man's ass. Oh, the fucking Taiju, this is the difference of gods and fucking Shinobi. Shinobi are trained to fight like that. You think Kaguya could do some combos like, no, bitch is powerful. Like, here's a wave, you are dead. No, that's all she can do. But now we're talking Sasuke, oh my. Dog, that fucking combo, they, yo. These, they kicked their living shit out of fucking Momoshiki multiple times. And even some punches landed in there. And then when they go there for the final swoop, Momoshiki uses the red chakra chains, knocks them both down. Sasuke out of nowhere got high and mighty and said, fuck it. He gets up before Naruto does and goes out to Momoshiki alone. And Momoshiki smacks the shit out this dude and does like a fire chibaku tensei ship, some shit like that. And he, by the way, Momoshiki in this V2 form has a regular, uh, purple renegade on his head and like his still his two renegades on his palms and shit like that. He's more powerful, whatever. But he fires Sasuke's ass and he gets burned and Naruto comes to Sasuke, pits some of that good old Kurama cloak on him, sit heels right away so Naruto, he gets mad like, yo, you just fucking hurt my friend! My friend! And he fucking goes up against Momoshiki here and Momoshiki kind of counters him with some weird shit. I don't know, it looked look, look like wood. But most likely of uh, rock and with that Naruto his full Kurama form, by the way, which is uh the full Kurama form, not half no more, cause shit is fucking huge. It's getting held back and then Sasuke uses the switch rule teleport shit, goes behind Naruto's back. Fucking Susano around the Kurama. This is by far the most sexiest piece of art we've ever seen in Naruto. This, uh, this uh, the proof the Ultimate Susano and Ultimate Kurama Fuse. And you know how long it took to whoop this motherfucker's ass? Or to beat him or defeat him? So Kurama draws some chakra and then Sasuke Susano, Susano's sword covers the whole thing. Sink! It's over. It's over. Just like that, it is over. Oh, I'm telling, like, these two guys put together, it's like Hagawamo strength or more at this point in the fucking series. I'm Sasuke, obviously, been trained. This nigga can go, Hagawamo can't even go to the dimension. So, say, say Sasuke's eye is stronger than Hagawamo's eye. Because, hey, his is like running guy. Sasuke can do that shit too, but hey, now his shit can go to the dimension. I believe the six Tomo kind of helped him with that shit. But I, as I said, it's like a version two Renegon, the Logo Momoshiki is Ray Renegon, version two, regular purple Renegon, version one, and of course the final one, the Rene Sharon which is the one that Kaguya and Maru wielded. Simple as that. But that one slice fucked Momoshiki's whole game up. And that's when you think it's over. <sighs> Bitch ass motherfucking corny dick licking cunt Kasuski, the the fucking new generation of ninjutsu comes and blasts him with all the fucking power and shit. I'm like, you just brought him back to life. Good thing he didn't bring him back a full power, cause this motherfucker, Momoshiki, I think he probably did, but well, almost full power. He gets up, I'm like, okay, thanks for that shit, pussy. Now I'm about to just fuck them up and again. Thank you. So he fires. Well, no, he doesn't fire. He charges up. This big ass fucking look like a, a look. Like, I think once he absorbs an ninjutsu, he now knows that shit forever. Cause it looks like a tail beast bomb mixed with some other random shit. I'm like, Kasuski, what, what the fuck are you doing? Look, look the fuck you did, you dumbass. So with this, by the way, Buddy Toes, unique by Sengon, I fucking love it. Because he even uses it. He said, because Sasuke says, Boruto, use it by Sengon. Boruto, I'm like, but, um, Sasuke, like, just do it. So it's obvious, like, Sasuke, he's a good teacher because he's seen something in his student that his student didn't even see. I don't know what kind of Rasengan this is. I don't. I don't know. Is it like, because he's like a Hyuga, too? And it just fucks up shit you can't see? I'm not sure. 
But he fires a little my saying god. I'm gonna call it the vanishing with saying god. Throws it. It disappears as uh, Momoshiki is holding the fucking thing about to fire it. And it hits him. It hits his garment. And he starts bitching about his fucking garment. But luckily, he bitches a lot about his fucking garment. So Sasuke capitalizes. Yo, Boruto. No, no. Yeah, Sasuke actually goes up against Momoshiki, I believe. And then he like does like a switch rib or some shit. Momoshiki is even more distracted. Then the sword happens to be Boruto. And Boruto, uh, like, it's like, it reminded me of the scene with Zabuza, you know, Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, Kakashi, when Naruto was like the shuriken and he turned, I'm like, that's, that's what the fuck I want, nostalgia, nigga, nostalgia with some new shit, like, this whole, like, by the way, like, the message, like, you were, like, one of the messages through this movie was that Naruto was trying to convince Sasuke, like, Boruto, like, this new generation isn't the same, his clothes are too new, as in he doesn't work hard enough for his clothes to be fucked up and rusty, but now... Boruto, he's getting that shit worn the fuck out because he's on fire. He is on fire with this shit right now. Boruto is now at this moment, he's realizing what the true shinobi is. He is reclaiming his title as a motherfucking ninja. As a motherfucking ninja. But 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 after that, Sasuke says, Boruto, make a Rasengan. Boruto does, he's like, dude, think, don't think this shit's gonna work against that big ass shit. But then, Papa Naruto. Father, son, Rasengan, and this shit is huge. And it's like a Naruto's rampage by Sengan mixed with a Boruto's regular Rasengan. And it's just, it's beautiful. And Boruto, like, due to his fucking genes, he said, of course he's able to wield this shit. I'm like, I'm not surprised. I'm like, fuck if he's good. Look at his genes. His mom comes to direct, di di he's a direct descendant of fucking Kaguya. Haku, no, 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 no. Ha Kaguya, um, and Hamura, I mean his mom is the fucking Byakugan princess, for crying out loud. Hamura's chakra, Ashua's chakra, your fucking father, so obviously, he's Ashua's bloodline because I had to eventually travel down to him. I'm like, dude, I'm not even shocked that you're able to hold this shit right now, which is the sad part, because you're, you're just blessed. Even his, even like his academy students or people like, and it seemed like Brother Joe, he's just naturally fucking talented. He just feels the need to cheat. Because his father doesn't give him enough tension. He could he could have whooped Shikadai's ass had he been focused. Had he been focused, he could have whooped his ass to know the right way. But this giant ass motherfucking father son rampage. For I don't know what the fuck to call this shit. But <laughs> Sasuke, I believe, um, throws a Boruto, or does he throw him? No, I think Boruto just actually charges him. Sasuke helps him somehow. And Boruto plunges this giant ass Rasengan until Momoshiki's tail beast bomb mixed with random shit. And it actually overpowers his shit to the point that Boruto's whole arm gets like burnt during the process. And I'll tell y'all what that means later. But it gets burnt during the process. But the impact of that shit. That shit I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck, imagine if Birdie Toe was even caught in that crossfire. There is no return. There's no returning from that shit. But he winds up beating and you no know, thus killing Momoshiki version 2 form. And that fight was freaking that made the feels in that fight. Like Naruto apologized to Birdie Toe. He said, We gotta have more talks later. I'm like, dog, like, y'all trying to trying to make me fucking tear up, dog. This yo, this oh, man, this shit started to make me like Naruto a little bit. Cause I'm like, finally, nigga, you, you stepping up. That whole birthday shit made him to kick your fucking neck in, dog. But this, this movie, I'm watching it again after I upload this fucking review, dog. That's that's my go-to movie. I, no. I, I, I like the last. I like this way better than the fucking last. The last was pretty cool. But this, it's a, it's a different level. Different level. I don't know what to do now. But after that, it's over. They all hit home. And and by the way, after they all hit home, um we get to like apparently they took pictures finally. Sasuke's taking a picture. And they took like this big ass family portrait. It's like Sasuke's side and Naruto's side. I'm like, and they hold Kage's. I'm like, I gotta get a poster. <laughs> Where's the posters at, nigga? I don't care if I gotta pay a hundred fucking bones for that fucking poster. I will, because that shit is legendary in itself. I got... This whole thing is just amazing. 
We got the whole family sitting down, eating together, talking together. Everybody is spending time together. Boruto got the nice little bandage on his shit, but Naruto got his bandage on his shit. Oh, yo, I'm like, yo, I'm like, son, nigga. Let's fucking go. They even say Boruto has the potential to surpass Naruto. And with this pass, the Boruto is going now. I'm telling you, people, he does. He definitely does, Boruto. Just keep doing your thing. No more cheat codes. None of that shit, man. You can do this shit by yourself. And Savara, I just seen with him, Savara, and uh, Miski. They're like, I believe they're on her Hokage faces. And Miski, like, um, so you're going to become Hokage? Because, like, all this shit that I'm mean, was doing, he can definitely be Okage. Burrito is like, no. Just because, you know, my father and my grandfather was Okage doesn't mean I have to. I'm going to be ninja like Sasuke and follow my own path. I'm like, whoever wrote this shit, probably obviously Kijimoto uh, and you know, some helpers, they wrote this shit so perfectly. Per I'm like, yo, all this shit made me do is want to <laughs> see more shit now. I'm like, dude, why I why y'all doing this to us, man? Come on, you you gotta make you gotta do it. You put an echo Toriyama, do it. You gotta return a couple of years later, and so with some Burrito shit. And Salvador, he's gonna be Okage, I, which is nice. Salvador, you do gotta step your game up because Burrito, he's shitting on you. And I would like to see you become Okage because you're a new Chiha. You know what I mean? Like that was like the whole problem in the beginning, you know, with the first Okage. They didn't want a new Chiha as a Okage, but now it'll show more of an example of how times have changed. How much peace we are in that if she has trusted as an Hokage, and she's a very good girl. Sabuda, she's a good character too. A little bit Sasuke in her, a lot of Sakura in her. But hey, she's cool. She beat a fucking opponent and tuning in his ass with one fucking punch. Like, bitch, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, bitch. Like, nigga, fucking Sabuda, you know my pop is? <laughs> fuck. She, I don't, I, well, I'm not sure if she likes her that or not. She just probably not that close. But. Whether to being the son of a god, getting trained up a god, by a god, I'm just like, you are the one. You don't have to be a Hokage to be the best. I'm telling you people, you don't. Because Naruto was the best way before he became Hokage, and that is a fact. That's a fact. But Boruto, I like the path he's going. I love his character. I love how it was written and everything. Like, and then right before him and Naruto, like, leave their, their house. Like, as Boruto about to go on a mission, Naruto about to uh, go do his Hokage shit. They bump fists with the uh, bandaged uh, hands. I'm like, stop. Who wrote this? Who wrote this? Who wrote this shit? Who wrote this shit? Quentin Miller? Pick us too good. It gotta be Quentin. Quentin had to write this shit, man. But, uh, this whole thing was just freaking phenomenal. And, you know, that, like, the movie basically ends there. Like with Boruto, um, cause I don't know he has Miski coming through the sky and Sako coming through the sky and Boruto coming through the sky to uh, catch the panda again by Kamohama, which is a distraction. It's like, okay, they're just redoing the mission and then, then it ends. Then they had a little end credits. The song was very nice. Then it comes back, of course, we need to find out who Miski's father is and it turns out to be Orochimaru. I done said this shit because spoilers were released. Thank you a lot, spoilers. But this movie, like, those spoilers took nothing away from this fucking movie. You had to see this movie to truly enjoy Boruto Naruto, the movie, the feeling I... Well, as soon as this shit go on DVD, I am fucking buying it. English dub, English sub, I don't give a fuck. This was amazing. Every last bit of it, and I loved it. And thank you, Kishimoto, for giving us this entire ride, because look, this is over. This is my second to last Naruto review, because of course I'm going to have to review the entire series. Up to now, like chapter one or episode one, all the way up to this. That shit might be two hours in itself. This shit is like 30 minutes, so it might be even longer than that. But I had to cover a lot to give like a proper movie review. Of course, the review is going to be more brief than this, you know? Got to abridge it a little bit. But this movie, a 10 out of 10. I loved it. The, the writing is what I am most impressed about. I'm like, what the fuck? Turns out Momoshiki and Kenshiki is the reason why... Kaguya once created an army, so it's like bad guys versus bad guys in that sense. Cause none of them really ain't got shit good to do. Cause he's about to kill all the humans for this shit. I mean, Kaguya you kinda could kill these bitches by yourself, but this was amazing. Entire movie, I loved it. And it's like the character development Boruto had and he realized what a true ninja is, and Sasuke taking him under his wing. Boruto messing with Rasengan at the end of the movie as like, hey, there you go. So he could have a small Rasengan, I'm calling it the Venice Rasengan, 
just throw that shit. Imagine what he could do if he could fucking get that shit to the size. Naruto made his shit. He just say, hey, fuck you. Let me throw this. It will disappear. Four seconds later. Hey, man. Hey, hey damn. How about this? Boom. Blow your whole shit the fuck up. But, Mazaku here. This is Birdie Toe Naruto the movie review. Once again, in the description is the link to my uh, Facebook page. Make sure you like that page. And on that page is the link to the actual movie. The movie's not necessarily HD, but hey, if it still gave me this magical feeling, it doesn't matter what fucking uh, HP is on. Uh, is this called HP? It probably is. But what kind of fucking quality it's on. This is pure genius. The movie, I love it. And I hope you love it too. So make sure you guys watch that movie right after this video. You watch it before the video and watch this review after that. That's equally as good. But thank you for watching me talk my stuff, man. I, I'm about to go watch this movie again, people. So once again, you guys have a good day. Have a good time. And by the way, today is November 7th. I could have sworn the year before exactly Naruto the manga ended. Very co convenient that this happens to be the time I put this video up. But hey, thank you guys for staying on this Naruto ride with me. After this, is just one more review. I might still put up like Naruto meme video. I think I make a part three uh, funny ass meme video. I've seen some funny ass ones too, but I think I put up a part three of that. It's still gonna be a little bit Naruto videos here and there, but of course I, I'm focusing on other shit now, like One Piece, Dragon Ball Super, Fairy Tale, One Punch Man, and National Taza. National Taza anime is gonna come out 2016 as well. But thank you guys for sticking with me. Stay subscribed, nigga, because I'm a funny ass dude, and I give out clean ass review so thank you guys for staying with me this long November 26th is the three year anniversary people of my soccer thank you guys for staying man I love you guys Dr. Bayo